Looks like there's a new plugin for Unraid in town that allows you to monitor your graphics card utilization, specifically an NVIDIA card, on your Unraid dashboard. And that plugin I'm going to talk about today is called GPU Stat. <laughs> Hey, what's up YouTube? Jason here with Bite My Bits. Like I said, there's a new plugin on GitHub right now that allows you to monitor the graphics card utilization from the dashboard of your Unraid server. As you can see here, you can already monitor your network interface, your memory, your processor, but there's no way to actually see what your graphics card is doing, at least not from the screen. Now there is technically a workaround already for this. If you're either an SSH or the terminal within Unraid, you can run the watch NVIDIA SMI command that allows you to see what What's going on now this does actually give you a little bit more information in-depth information on what processes are, are going on on your GPU so this plugin that I'm gonna talk about today as far as I know isn't as detailed as the Nvidia SMI but it will at least allow you to kind of see what's going on with your graphics card from the main dashboard of your server now I have actually not installed and or tested this yet it was just brought to my attention today by a user on my discord so Josh Yapu from discord at this works thank you for the recommendation i appreciate it if you want to check out my discord check out the links in the description down below okay to get started on this plugin i will link in the description down below so you can get all of this but you do want to go down to the manual installations and it's going to ask you to verify that you're running the unraid nvidia build 6.7.1 plus now what this means is that on your Unraid, you're gonna to go to your plugins and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have the Unraid NVIDIA plugin installed. And then once you go into the NVIDIA Unraid plugin that you have installed, you're gonna to go to the NVIDIA Unraid builds, download and install. Back to the installation instructions, it says within the Unraid web UI, navigate to plugins and install plugin and it wants you to install this. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and copy this to the clipboard. We're going to go into Loki, which is my main server. I'm, I'm installing this on my main server. We're going to go up to the top. We're going to click Install Plugins. This is from the Plugins tab. So Install Plugins. And right click on this and paste it. And then click Install. Okay, so far so good. Seems pretty easy. Going to click done. Let's go ahead and go back to the instructions here and check. Okay, so going back into our server, we're going to go up here to click settings. And then down here, looks like we have GPU statistics right here. So we're going to click on that. And already it looks like it says NVIDIA. So we're just going to click done. Okay, looks like that's already set up. Now from the installation standpoint, that looks like it's claiming that's all that really needs to be done. It just says go to your dashboard. So going to our dashboard again, we can see the processor, we can see the memory, we can see the interface for the network, but we don't see the GPU. So let's go ahead and do a quick refresh. And there you have it. As you can see, I have an NVIDIA Quadro RTX 4000 currently installed in my system with the GPU utilization of 5%. And I can't highlight that, but still 5% with zero memory. It looks like it tells me the wattage that's currently being used. So that's kind of cool. And the encoder and decoder utilization, both at 0%. If I actually hop into Plex and I go over to the transcoder setting, you can see here that I actually have the use hardware acceleration when available, not selected. And the reason why I have it configured like that is so I can go in here and start a transcode. And then you should see there you go, got a spike in my CPU usage. So it is currently uh, transcoding a large 4K video file. This is a demo file that I was running and it does, is not using the graphics card for anything. I can do a quick refresh. You should see the RAM jump to 16%. There you go. So if we do a, a quick refresh, it doesn't change anything. 0% encoder and decoder. And if we hop into Plex, again, you can go to the dashboard here. You can see that I am playing a 4K video file being transcoded and you don't have the little HW. Having an HW next to this would tell you that something is being transcoded via the graphics card or quick sync. So if we kill that play and then we go back down to transcoder and let's see, use hardware acceleration when available, change, there you go. Go back into the dashboard and let's go ahead and play the same exact video file and set it to transcode. Now, as you can see, we have HW next to both of these saying it's decoding and encoding using the graphics card. So hopping back over to the dashboard, we can scroll down and we can see that oh, we are using a whopping 2% of the encoders capability. 
and it actually even says how many sessions so let's see if we can actually I'm going to play another version of this. Go ahead and transcode this to 12 megabits per second. Let's see on the dashboard. Yes, it actually shows there's two sessions on the dashboard through the graphics card, the encoder, a 39% decoder, uh, and it went back down. But either way, you can see that the graphics card is being ramped up. It's counting sessions. There's going to be little spikes where basically it transcodes up to a certain cache amount, and then it waits until it's needed again. So that's why it's going to jump between 0 and 2 or 2 and 40%. But you can definitely see that the power draw jumped from 34 watts up to 74 watts in different peaks, and my temperature went from 61 to 74. Now to give you a little bit of an example on the NVIDIA SMI that I was talking about earlier, this one actually breaks down what kind of memory usage is being used for the transcoder for each stream. What it doesn't do is break down the encoder and decoder, it just kind of gives you an overall as far as the percentage usage of your graphics card. So I think it would be kind of cool if by default this new plugin would be able to show the different sessions, what it was, even if it said, you know, Plex or Virtual Machine or something like that down here to show what it is actually being used as a session and what memory is being, you know, allocated to each session. But for now, I think actually having most of this information from your dashboard allows you to quickly at a glance see what your graphics card is doing for your Plex Media Server or really for anything that you're using your graphics card on Unraid for. But as you can see, this is super easy to install. The instructions were clear. Everything was super simple to get this up and running, especially this is the first time ever trying this and it took me the first stab, got it working, does not seem like a complicated thing. You just install the plugin, go and make sure it's selected on NVIDIA and go to your dashboard and then you now have the new graphics card, NVIDIA, whatever you have listed right here. This is a fairly new plugin, so of course there are gonna be some different bugs and things to work out. So if you do notice something, definitely report it to the creator. If you need any links to any of this information, check out the links in the description down below. Of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, post those in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and have yourself a great day.